Back at Roya Sanderson, about to get the second quarter underway, along with Josh Comic and Scott Guru Mitch Smith. Jeff Benjamin with you. Josh Lanfear, 4 of 14, shooting in the first quarter. Railers, 3 of 8. Yep, and uh, it, it, it's been the turnovers, and the Railers have been unable to get uh, get some offensive boards. Todd Belsick, Van Hook, Olsen, Block, and Cook on the floor for the Railers. Will, right corner three on the way, in and out again. Christian tried to get the rebound, but did a nice job tipping it to Cook. Railers retain possession. Nice backdoor pass. Clyde Belsick kicks it out to Van Hook. Christian stepped on the baseline, and I didn't think the official was going to catch it, but he did. Turnover gives it back to Lanfear. That's their fifth of the night. Yeah, five turnovers now for the Railers. And, uh, you know, pretty. I thought in that possession we kind of played, tried to play a little too fast. You know, guys are getting the basketball and, and taking a dribble right away before they're even looking at uh, what the defense of Lanfear has given them. And uh, you got to be confident with the ball. And, uh, you, you know, keep. we had a couple good looks there. I thought we passed them up. Boozer, they dump it down to Austin. Austin to a cutting power, flips it off the glass. No good. Christian again with the rebound. Lost it out of bounds. Tried to save it in bounds. That was Austin. Couldn't do it. Goes out of bounds on the near sideline. It'll be Railer basketball. Yeah, Christian up high again for the for the rebound. And not only do you have to, sec to secure the rebound up high, but you better secure it down low because uh, Leifer got it tipped it away. Stolen away. Powers to a cutting Clemens who lays it up and in for his first basket of the night. And another turnover by the Railers. This one results in two direct points. Hyde Belsick ahead to Christian Van Hook. Christian tries to go baseline. Man, that's not a foul. Tipped out of bounds by Lanfear, so it'll stay with the Railers. Inbound on the baseline. Maxwell inbound. First Gesner and Kirby will check back in. Max will take a seat. Also heading to the bench will be Pod Belsick. Gesner will trigger on the baseline. 6.47 to go, first half. Railers down, 14-10. Gesner into Van Hook in the corner. Railers set up around the perimeter. Yeah, I've got to put somebody in the middle when, when uh, Lanfair goes to this zone. Christian, another three in and out again. Austin tried to grab it. They're going to say he was the last one to touch it. And Josh, that's at least four that I can well, remember yeah. have gone down and out. And a good job by Gavin. He flashed right to the middle and uh, then kicked it out to Christian, who's been our hot shooter. And that ball was down and it, or, you know down and out as, uh, as Gavin's kind of had two of those. And now, um, and now Christian has one. Tipped away and stolen. Nice job by Kirby going to the ground to pick that one up. Gavin wide open for a three. It's on the way. This one's long, no good. Christian tried to get the rebound, and he went to the ground, and he's going to be called for traveling. Christian was there to fight him for the rebound, and when Austin went up, I think Christian backed up just a little bit, and Austin went to the ground with it, and that's traveling. Well, that's about the least amount of contact if uh, Coach Shanklin's worried about fouls underneath because uh, that uh, that uh, there's been a lot of shoving going on by the, the team in black. Kirby and Olsen. Near the timeline, 6.05 to go. Gesner, can he hit a three? That's off the rim, no good. Austin high for the board for the Lions. Quickly up court, Boozer can't hang on to it. They were trying to play a little too fast. And another turnover. So, you know, Josh, we talk about if the Railers are going to stay in a game, it's got to be that ugly, not pretty, not a lot of rhythm. This game is starting to get those characteristics of the game we saw down at uh, Lanfear in uh, early February. Yeah, bad shooting, and, and right now I think the Railers are relying on three a little too much. I think we can get to the basket on these guys. They're giving us a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity. Can Austin hit one? That's off the front of the rim. No good. Christian with a great rebound flips it up and in. Yeah, we've, we've got to get to the basket. Right now we're not hitting the threes, and we got to we get an offensive rebound that we don't get very often. But uh, the Railers cannot uh, cannot afford to sit back and just shoot the three, especially when we're not hitting. Five and a half to go. Lanfear 14, Lincoln 12. All 12 of those points coming from the senior, Van Hook. And that was rejected away. Austin went to the lane and found Christian there. So Christian doing everything here on senior night. They get it into the front plate. Gesner, Van Hook. Now again, this is where the Railers have had a tendency to play a little too fast tonight as Powers is going to be whistled for the hold on the far sideline. Yeah, and, and a great job. Uh, you just see what Christian Austin goes in and uh, Christian throws it back to about the uh, free throw line. So you just see a, a huge difference of what he can bring to the table when he's underneath the hoop. But the Railers, again, uh, I don't think you can just stand behind there and beat these guys. They gamble and they reach so much. Uh, you you got to be able to, uh, to get to the basket. Kirby, almost stolen away, is stolen away by T.J. Davis. Takes it away, lays it up and in. 
16-12, Josh, it's been one of those games where the Railers inch closer, and then they, you know, one step forward, one step back. They just can't seem to get it tied or take the lead. Yeah, and it's basically just uh, careless turnovers too, long passes there. Yeah, these Lions are gonna jump in the passing lanes, and uh, yeah, they, they use their hands real well, maybe even more than we saw them at, uh, at Lanthier. I think they really body you. I think they probably got a coaching from uh, Chatham and also from Sacred Heart Griffin that says, hey, you guys are quick, and if you try to muscle them even with that, you're, you're gonna even be a harder, make it harder for the Railers to score. Olsen on the right side to block, between the circles. Gesner will fire up a long three, in and out again. Jake almost with the steal, and Olsen's going to be whistled for the foul as he tried to take it away from Brigadie. Yeah, again, another three. The Railers settle for a 22-footer, for a and uh, when you don't make them and, La and Lanfear gets the rebound, they're off and running, and uh, you, you, you just hope that you're making that night. But, but I think there's a – you know, we have guys that have the ability to get to the basket and, and get into the middle of the lane and not only get to the layups but also draw some fouls. Well – we're four and a half to go here in the second quarter, and that's already the sixth attempt at from three-point range that the Railers have put up. Powers over to Brigitte on the right side. Brigitte's going to go by Austin. Had it stripped away. Austin comes up with it. Yeah, now let's get a good possession. Down 16-14 here. Four minutes and 15 seconds left. Let's go to the hoop and get an easy basket. Christian being watched by Wallace. Van Hook with a spin. Turn. Jump around the way. That's no good. Gesner couldn't get the rebound over Boozer. And Lanfear looking to run and run quickly. Brigadie spots. Jumper on the way. Spins off no good. And we're going to have Wallace getting called for the foul. As I think he gave uh, Austin Kirby a little shove in the back. Yeah. And that'll be the second on Wallace. Good job by Kirby of getting positioned down low. Uh, he's not as tall as uh, Wallace, but just as strong. And he did a good job of uh, keeping him on his backside and going up for the rebound. But again, the Railers settle for another jump shot. There's about a 17-foot shot. Jump shot by uh, Van Hook. Got to get something easy. We got to get to the free throw line. Uh, something, something where we can get some penetration going to the hoop. Max working against Larry Austin Jr. Battle of sophomores. We'll see that for a couple more years. Christian, they tried to get it to him on the high post, stolen away by Powers. They get back on defense, but Powers with the left hand layup is good. Yeah, but if you can if you can limit those type of scores from Landfair, you've done a pretty good job. But now they've gotten two or three of them here in this quarter. And this is where they get their runs going. When they start stealing the basketball and making layups, then they start getting confidence, and then they start really going. Railers like to keep the turnover total in single digits. They're already at eight for the game. Gavin tries to go in hard. Ball tipped around. It's knocked out of bounds. Nice job by, uh, the, uh, by Max letting it go, not trying to save it, or it would have uh, maybe been lost out of bounds. I think uh, Coach Shanklin for Lanfear was looking for a charge call against Gavin. Uh, Gavin's gotten very good at taking those charges this year. Yeah, good job by the no call. I thought uh, they were definitely, he was definitely moving. And a held ball between Block and Brigitte, alternating possession. We'll send it back to the Lions. 3-12 to go after the Railers commit their ninth turnover of the game. Gesner, Kirby, Cook, Van Hook, and Block on the floor for the Railers. So the starter's out there for Lincoln. Davis, Austin, Brigitte. Powers and Davis out there for Lanfear. 2.50 to go, first half. Davis, crossover dribble, pull up just inside the lane. That goes in and out. Christian again there for the board. Yep, another good board by Christian. Ed. Really need a big basket here for the Railers. We've been on a drought now for uh, several minutes, and it's been all jump shots. Van Hook on the right wing. Now to Max, being watched by Clemens. Austin. He's going to spot for three, thought about it. Let the defender go by, didn't take the shot. Gesner drives down the lane. Hands to Christian, spacing an issue. Gavin, right side three. Yep, in and out again. 2.15 to go. Quickly down court, flip it down on the baseline. Austin has it rejected away again by Christian. Gesner, one on two. I don't think he's going to, oh, he is going to take the three. Missed it. Real quick shot on that attempt. Clemens down court quickly, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting two. Big turn right there, Josh, where the Railers had the steal. They got it out here to Gesner. Gesner maybe should have pulled it back, waited for his teammates, took a quick three. Down on the other end, Railers commit a foul, and Clemens goes to the line for two. Yeah, you got to make uh, baskets, because uh, if you don't, these guys will get out and run like crazy. And uh, eight three-point attempts already for the Railers. When uh, when a lot of none of it's not like we can't get to the basket. I think Lanfear does so much uh, pressure. They do uh, so much reaching and cheating out for to get in the passing lanes that this basket, this Arela team can really uh, 
can really get out and, and get into the to the lane. And now Max has got two, and that's probably the, the, the most important guy we need as far as ball handling and, and one of the only guys that usually gets to the rim. Clemens misses the first, makes the second, 19-12. Two minutes to go. Matt Hayes, a senior, into the contest for the first time tonight. So you got four seniors and a freshman. Olsen, Gesner, Hayes, Kirby, along with Block. Minute 40 to go. Olsen on the right side now to Gesner. Railers have really slowed it down here. Yeah, I think, well, you get your ball handler taken out. Christian's on the bench. Just hold it here. We're only down seven. Uh, let's just hold it, but now Lanfear says uh, no more of that. We're coming out to get you. Austin's out on Jake Olson. Brigitte watching Kirby. Minute 20 to go. High post. Christian, as he said on the bench, Austin's three. I think it was partially tipped, and the attempt comes down to Clements, who flips it off, off the glass. No good, but Powers is there to clean it up and lay it in. Seven in a row, a 9-2 run for Lanfear, and they're up by nine with a minute to go in our first half. Danger time here for the Railers. Gavin behind the back pass. Well, if that one would have gone out of bounds, Gavin may have started running tonight. Gavin with a nice move off the glass, and it goes down. Yeah, a two. There we go. Get it right in the middle, and we get a two-pointer, and, uh, and it goes down. That's only the third two-pointer even attempted for the Railers. And if you want to get back into this, we need to stop here and, a, uh, and, and uh, get back into halftime and, and regroup. 34 seconds to go in the first half. They're taking time. We will as well. Timeout land for Lincoln down 21-14. Back in a moment with Lincoln Railer basketball. Approaching halftime here, 21-14. Landfear with the lead, 34 seconds to go. Have a special halftime guest coming up for you here, one of the better looking members of the Smith family, Nathaniel Smith. We're hoping to catch a few words with him here at halftime. Railers hoping to cut into this uh, lead. To Josh down seven, danger time. You've got your leading scorer, uh, Christian Van Hook, now back in the contest. You've got your ball handler, Max Cook, on the bench. Uh, this would be a best-case scenario of being down only seven. Yeah, yeah. you got to get a stop here, and uh, maybe they give you a little bit of a time to, uh, to try and get a shot off. Trying to go baseline. Clemens is there underneath, throws it up high off the glass. That's no good. Crashing the boards again. Who's coming down with it? And we've got a held ball, so it will give it to the Railers. So, Josh, good for the Railers. Uh, the only problem here is coming out of the second half, you don't get it, but you do get a chance to get a little bit closer with 16 seconds to yeah, go. And also, but uh, Lanfear now brings up the pressure a little bit, and we don't have Max in the game to handle a lot of that pressure as uh, normally one that does it. Well, you got to get it into the front court, and they do to Pied Belsick with six. Over to Jake on senior night. Can Olsen hit one? Back rim, no good. Gavin, throw it up, tipped away, and it's going to be corralled by Austin, who fires it up. It will not count our score at halftime. It is Lanfear 21, Lincoln 14. And in a little bit of change for what we uh, normally do, we're going to give you the scoring rundown first, and then we'll come back with our halftime.